Registering IP phones on a PBX while deploying the phone system is critical, which makes auto-provisioning an essential function. It makes the installer can realize the registration automatically and efficiently. Yaystar P-Series PBX offers the auto-provisioning with plug-and-play deployment and fully featured functionality. Upgrade your P-Series PBX to the latest version and you will have it. In this video, we're going to take a Yaylink IP phone as an example. To realize auto-provisioning on Yaystar P-Series PBX, we're supposed to create an extension first. Then, power on the IP phone and change its IP address to the same network segment as our P-Series PBX, so that the PBX can access the IP phone. Then we log in to the web GUI of P-Series PBX. Check the sidebar on the left. Here we get auto-provisioning. Click Phones. We can see all the accessible phones displayed here. By the way, all these phones information is posted here as well, such as vendor, model, IP address, and MAC address. We can also check the phone registration status here. Well, if the phone we're going to set doesn't show up, please reboot it. Anyway, now we can select the phone we need to register and click on Add it. Please note, it must be the same model if we're going to provision multiple phones in bulk. Then we will get the phone provisioning page while clicking on Add it. While clicking on Add it. In the MAC address field, we will see the phone we're currently configuring. The PBX will assign a default template according to the phone model automatically. We can keep the template if there's no special requirement. And next, we move to the extension field. Click the drop down menu. We assign a particular extension on this phone. Then don't forget to click on Save. The auto provisioning will be finished. Now, the only thing left for us is to check the status, see if it's registered. What's more, we can also reboot and reprovision connected phones if necessary. Some further customization on each one of these phones can be realized by clicking Manage Phone Settings. Personal preferences for the corresponding extension user, as well as the function keys, are customizable with no doubt. We can access the configuration page by simply clicking the function keys label. Right over here, we can assign each key to an available function and its destination. And again, don't forget to click on save when you finish that. All right, as for resource repository, Here's the place where we have the pre-configured templates of all supported film models embedded for auto-provisioning. As we mentioned, the default template is automatically matched with the corresponding film model. However, suppose we're going to modify a pre-configured template for a supported model to deploy customization in bulk along with auto-provisioning. We can actually get to the custom template to create a new one or Modify the source default template. Well, please check on the phone manual and contact your phone provider to confirm how to create a template for the specific model. Once we finish it, click on Save. The new template will be found in the customized template list. With P-Series PBX, we can also upgrade firmware for the registered phones in bulk. To make this work, we're supposed to get the firmware installation package. Then get to the device firmware package. Click on Add. To upload this firmware on the PBX. Then we back to the phone list. Select phones of the particular model and click on Upgrade Firmware. These phones will reboot automatically, getting upgraded. All right, guys. Now it's all for the auto provisioning on our P-Series PBX. Now you can give the try on your system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Need more information about Yaystar P-Series PBX? Please subscribe and visit yaystar.com.